you know, we started strong. We talked about having momentum. We knew from the start they were going to play with, you know, high energy, be very physical. We weathered the storm, made shots early. Um, we knew they were going to make a run. Obviously, this team is a team that doesn't quit. So we were able to do a better job of playing with poise and uh, able to come away with it. Uh, to your point about momentum, I know we've asked about Trez's energy, and you've said it's, I'm not sure how else to ask it, but um, what does he give you on a night like this where maybe the atmosphere is, is one of the tests that you have to overcome? It's just that. It's contagious. Uh, it's infectious, and our guys feed off of it. Uh, I don't, he doesn't do it uh, for that purpose. That's just who he is. That's how he competes. Uh, so I think it's great. You know, we need those momentum plays when, you know, you have those lulls offensively. He's going to get you second possessions. He's going to make a play defensively for you. Um, it, it, those are impactful moments that can change the whole shift of a, of a quarter. How much are, are things like, I think it was like 20 turns or, some, or something, maybe the, the late game offense. Mm -hmm. Are those concerns on a night like tonight when sure. you know, first game, big win? Well, they were concerned all preseason. So still something we did a slightly better job tonight um, and they missed shots they probably would make, but we, we've got to iron that out because we're going to see it time and time again. And then, um, I think I saw Davis holding his right arm. Did he make something out there? I, I didn't see it. Uh, I think uh, when he took the charge, he may have landed a little bit awkward, but it didn't seem to affect him. Um, and then last, uh, Kuz's 15 rebounds. What kind of flourish? I didn't see that. No, that's uh, just another dynamic where we've seen him be a playmaker. Uh, we know he can score, but just an added dimension. A guy with his size, ability to clear rebounds, push to an open floor, make plays. It's uh, that's big. Back to the weathering the storm. Does that kind of come from the you know the emotion that was in this building after the length of time this, this Raptors team has been away from here? Oh, no question. I mean, that's going to be every home openers for you know the next few days. Uh, but you know that's also you know those are playoff atmospheres. If that's where we uh, see ourselves being, we, we better get comfortable in those type of situations. We'll go to Zoom now. We'll start with DA. I have to ask you first, Wes, well, first, congrats on the win. Um, did you have to change clothes? Was there any type of post-game shower involved? <laughs> yes, unfortunately, there was. <laughs> they, picked, they chose every cold bottle of water uh, in the locker room, and uh, I got doused. Yeah, good feeling. <laughs> Um, they, you know, they, they got into you and they cut, cut it down a little in the fourth quarter. I just wonder when you have a, when you have a vet like KCP who can kind of shot fade, get himself open and, and hit kind of a calm three, how, how important was, is that for your squad this year? That's going to be big for us. I mean, it's funny because he had two or three of them that he, that he missed. And I told him, I want him to shoot that shot every single time. Yeah. Um, cause you know, he's, he's going to make his lion share, the lion share of them. Um, and those are great looks for us. You know, once again, those are momentum plays where they're trying to make their way back into the game. It's a backbreaker. You, you, you knock down a, a tough three, you sidestep the defense, get them lifted, clear space, step into it with rhythm. That's uh, yeah, that can pretty much seal the, seal the win. Thanks. Chase. Hey, Wes, uh, congrats on your first win. Just what was it like and how did it match up with your expectations coaching your first regular season game? You know, aside from, uh, you know, all the first and all the text emails, you know, I, I got today, it felt like the preseason games, honestly. Um, I had the same nervous feeling to begin with, and then you, you relax, you just coach. Um, so it's just, obviously the crowd was into it. It's, it's a great atmosphere and it's, you're always going to get that here in this building. But, uh, Aside from those things, it's, uh, it was business as usual, and I was really happy to see the way we responded. Five blocks and two steals for Daniel Gafford, and some of them were, were pretty timely. Just uh, what can you say about his defensive performance tonight? Well, you know, it, it, he's done that all preseason, and uh, I'll give him credit, but I want to give all of our guys credit. Um, I thought we really did a good job de defending them. And, of course, it wasn't perfect. You know, they, they missed shots they probably would ordinarily make. Um, we got away with uh, – some things here and there, but, you know, overall, it was a, it was a really good defensive night for us. Um, so I'm really proud of how we responded and how we approached tonight's game. Neil. Hey, Coach, congrats again. I'm sure we'll ask you the same question tomorrow, but, you know, the unveiling of your dad's bust 
I'm curious, have you given, you know, that much thought and I'm sure, you know, it might hit you uh, differently tomorrow. Honestly, I haven't given it a lot of thought. Um, it's been on the docket. So, you know, I was aware of it. Um, obviously tomorrow will feel different. Uh, tonight is just about, you know, the, the 13 guys in that locker room, the staff, um, our whole traveling party, we've, we've worked uh, really hard up to this point and it didn't have a lot of success in the preseason. So um, I'm, I'm glad that uh, they were able to, to feel this. This is good for everybody. And I'm sure you'll give it more thought after, you know, looking back at the film, but five of 27 from three for you guys, anything, you know, 280 just shots not falling or, and did you more or less like all the shots that you were getting? Uh, for the most part, yes. Uh, not all of them, but uh I still thought we were able to find the open looks. Uh, ball moved well. Uh, and when it did, we generated the right shots. So, you know, it's, it, it didn't fall for us tonight. But once again, that's a credit to our defense. It was uh, a defensive win, in my opinion. Thanks, Coach. Chase, did you have another question? Yeah, uh, Wes, what did you uh, like about some of the lineups where you blended the starters with uh, bench players? Well, I think that's just how we have to play. I mean, I said this the other day, the game will kind of tell you who needs to be in there. And, you know, it, it evolves, has a flow. Um, and we always kind of map out our rotation before the game. And, you know, once the game starts, we have to read it. You know, what you like, what you don't like, some of the matchups, who, who's playing well, who might have foul trouble. So all of those things will kind of tell you, um, you know, the pattern. Uh, so it, it's going to happen and it might change slightly from night to night, but we have 10, 11 guys that we can play. So. It's a, it's a credit to our front office for giving us the depth and flexibility we have, and we just have to find out how, how to use it to our advantage. Last question, Jacarita. Hey, Coach, you alluded to the excitement in the locker room. What was your overall message to the team after the game? Well, you know, it's, it's great to get that first one under your belt, but let's not be satisfied. You know, um, it's a long season, so... We can get excited about one win. That's great. But, you know, we'll look at it. We'll, we'll try to get better with certain things we struggled with tonight um, and turn the page. And then we have to turn our attention to uh, the Pacers. So, uh, you know, it's great to start the season off the right way, but uh, by no means do we rest on that. We have to keep keep pushing, keep working, and we have to make sure we're getting better. What kind of uh, message, I guess, did you get from that? Did you have that kind of confidence in you? Um, really just, you know, just night in, night out, I come in and I do the things that, you know, I'm I'm good at and I do my job. So that's the main thing with just having guys, you know, put all their confidence and their faith, faith in me. I can't even talk. <laughs> but just having them, you know, put all their confidence and faith in me, it's real big for me because, you know, I feel more wanted here, you know, day in, day out, coming in in the facility and stuff. You know, the atmosphere is great. Everybody's loving, everybody's caring. We all want to win. So. I mean, you know, I feel like I'm home here and I had no choice but to take it basically because, you know, it's my home. I want to be here for a while and I, I just can't, I, you know, I'm speechless with it. You know, it's my first time ever having that much money close to my name. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Wes, talking about the game tonight, Wes called it a defensive win because mm -hmm. he said you guys were kind of weathered the storm, the storm, the kind of run there. Hey, what was your um, evaluation of the defense? Um, I feel like we came out and we handled business. You know, we came out and we had a defensive mindset first. We didn't worry about anything offensively. You know, we stayed poised. Like, it's the last couple of minutes at the end of the game, we stayed poised. You know, they, you know, they was coming. They came out hot in the second half. Well, like in that fourth quarter, we came out, you know, real aggressive, played more physical, I would say. But we stayed poised and, you know, we did what we had to do on the defensive end to be able to, you know, sustain the win and just stay locked in mentally and be able to get this first win for us. How satisfying is it to, to, to achieve that goal of coming out in an environment where you knew the Raptors were going to, you know, have all this extra energy coming back? Have it come to it kind of pleasing more to achieve that? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Because, I mean, we all knew that, you know, the arena was going to be crazy. It's their first time back in Toronto. So, I mean, I, everybody knew that the arena was going to be full. You know, we had Drake here. Um, it, was, it was just, the energy was just out of the, you know, out of this world. I really, I really can't explain it because it's been so long. It feels like it's been so long since we've had fans um, in the arena. So just hearing, you know, all of that noise is, it's like, you know, it's like weird, you know, because we, it's felt like we hadn't had it in so long, but just having all that energy 
and all the screaming and yelling from the Toronto fans and stuff. It's just something that we had to play through for sure because we knew that we were going to come in with a lot of energy. Like I said, you know, it was their first year back in this arena. So we just had to come out and handle business, no matter if it was a lot of energy, if it was a little bit, you know. We'll go to Zoom now. We'll start with Chase. Hey, Daniel, uh, congrats on the extension. Um, Coach Wes said that he thought maybe it would take some pressure off of you. And uh, I've heard other players say that uh, it relieves some pressure when they get that contract. Do you feel that way for yourself? Uh, it does. You know, um, day in, day out, I feel like I would have to, you know, look over my shoulder just to have that feeling of like, oh, I'm sooner than I might be getting traded again. <laughs> so um, just having that feeling and having that relief and all that weight taken off my shoulders is a real big thing for me. Um, now I can sleep good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what was it like uh, getting Wes Unseld his first career win? It was great. You know, I'm pretty sure he's still feeling it too. I think we went, I think we drenched all the clothes that he had when he came in the locker room after the game. But I mean, it, it just feels real good to get the first win um, of the season, have him get his first win, you know, as a head coach. Pretty sure that's, that's right. Am I not? Am I lying? Okay. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> I don't want nobody to <laughs> I don't want nobody to say nothing about that. But it's, it just feels real good, you know, especially to win because we we've worked to get to this point. So we just had to come out and play the game. Just really just had to come out and play Wizards basketball. And that's what we did tonight. DA. Yeah, if one um what you think uh you and you and Trez together kind of provide that that one, two punch in the middle, you know, and, and how his presence helps you and how you think your presence helps him. Um, I mean, you said it basically the one, two punch really, you know, I try my best to set the tone throughout the first five minutes of the game, you know, whether it's blocking shots, scoring, grabbing rebounds, anything like that. And Trez comes in and he, he picks up where I left off. That's the main thing, you know, and if I don't, start the game off with great physicality or great energy or anything like that. Trez is going to come in and he's going to for sure do the same thing. Trez comes out and he has a lot of tenacity on the boards. You know, he's not taking no BS with nobody. He got his first tech. I mean, he got the first tech of the season tonight. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's a good thing. You know, just having somebody come out, be able to just, you know, not take anything, attack the glass, block shots, dunk everything. You know, sooner or later I'm going to be dunking like him, shaking the basket and stuff. Hopefully I don't get no tech or anything. So other than that, man, you know, like you said, one, two punch. I'm sure you've gotten your share of technicals before, but have you, have you ever gotten one for yelling at Drake? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> no. Um, hopefully it never comes to that, but I don't think he was yelling at Drake, to be honest. Oh, uh, I think him and Drake was just having a conversation and somebody said something to him, but that's, you know, it's a little bit out of my, bit out of my area. <laughs> <laughs> Neil. Hey, Daniel, congrats on the contract. Uh, first thing, it looked like you got hit a little bit. Are you in the face? You okay after that? Yeah, I took a couple of blows to the left side of my face, right side, and my nose. But, I mean, I'm a tough guy. You know, rubble the dirt on it, going about my day. Fair enough. And for you guys defensively, you know, improving on some of the things that gave you guys trouble in the preseason, how did you guys see that executed over these past few days in practice? And do you feel like there's even more things that you guys can still correct to be even better? It's a lot of adjustments that we can make, I would say. Um, but tonight we did all the things that really helped us get this win. Um, you know, whether it was pick and roll defense, you know, blocking shots, rebounding, you know, with some slip ups there that I would say we would have to adjust to. But just the main thing overall, we locked in and we did all the things we had to do defensively to really just, you know, bring this win back home. Either of you want to be described just the atmosphere in the locker room after getting a coach was on self's first win? Uh, first person, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, it was exciting. It was electrifying. We uh, we definitely recognized, you know, this is his first win. Uh, you know, it was super important to us. We kind of had it planned the whole day yesterday. Uh, so it was definitely exciting, you know, for us to come out for four quarters and pretty much play a good game. We got sloppy in the fourth, but, you know, we executed well, and it was good to be able to get him a nice first win here. Uh, Trez, Wes called this a defensive win for you guys. Did you hear a little bit of the storm of the Do you kind of agree with that? Was the allegation of the defense in your practice? Um, I would definitely agree with it uh, just because we were tied in together. You know, we covered for each other, you know, even when we broke down and, you know, guys got open, 
um, or, you know, create that mismatch. We cover for each other, and, you know, that's what it's about. We're going to have to do that all year. We're going to have to make extra rotation. We had to make extra effort plays, and I think we did that tonight to a high um, level, and it came out with a big win for us. Brad, you had a nice level when you had the next cat pass to try to see Zilla make the jump. I think I think you bowed to him afterwards saying, saying thank you. Uh, we've talked about how you might not have to exert max energy night in and night out tonight. Was that a good sign of things to come tonight? How did you kind of view uh, that ball movement? One hundred percent. Like I felt super energetic, um, like at all times, and especially in the fourth. Granted, we we were sloppy, but I know I can get better shots and I can get good looks and I just felt good, you know, so it definitely feels great to be able to have guys who can put the ball on the floor, shoot the ball. I don't have to make every single play. Um, I didn't I, think he took no bad shots tonight. <laughs> I never think about them. Uh, I, I, I love the fact that I have guys who, who can really create and, you know, I don't have to do a lot of that leg work. You know, I can focus on the defensive end, focus on rebounding, uh, focus on creating shots for other guys, you know, versus just myself. So, it's great. It is, it is definitely great, but, you know, it's one game we got to continue to build on. Um, and what did you think of the second unit? You guys had some good combinations. I think it was you and Coons playing with the rest of the second unit guys at some point. Neto was in there at some point. You guys were able to kind of keep moving and, and stay uh, continuous. Yeah, I mean, we're just we're trying to figure out our rotations. Coaches, uh, you know, obviously we have a very competitive and deep group, you know, so I will hate to have his job for one. It's, it's, it's very tough to figure out who will play, how many minutes they'll play. Uh, Cause everybody's deserving of it. Everybody goes hard in practice. Everybody's proven that, you know, they deserve minutes. Um, so he's, he's just exploring options, exploring different lineups and, and they've been successful. You know, sometimes we're small, sometimes we're a little bit bigger. Uh, sometimes I run a point, sometimes I'm, I'm off the ball. So it's, it's been, it's been really good. And he mixes it up and keeps defenses on their toes. That's last one for me. Was your tech for John Drake, or were you talking to someone else? Nah, <laughs> hey, yeah, let's go and clear that right now. Let's go and clear that right now. Hey, look, look, I need my money back first, NBA. I definitely need my money back because that, that definitely should have been no tech. If so, you got to give it to me and the coach. Okay. Me and Drake was laughing. Okay. There was no problems there. Me and Drake, cool. Even talk after the game, it was cool conversation. But it turned left when the coach started chiming in behind the bench thinking that that barking is something that's gonna shake me. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't need all the Toronto on my bumper now. I don't need all the Toronto on my bumper now. You don't, don't start DMing me. Get out, get out of my Instagram now. Like, me and Drake cool, y'all. Trying to get out tonight. You feel me? You, know, he, you hold that board up on your ass. Brad, on top of getting the win for yourselves and then winning for West, what does it mean to come in here and spoil this Toronto homecoming that was such an emotional night for this team? You know, so you were saying that. At the beginning of the game, uh, when they had a bunch of, I guess, they had kind of had like a little concert. They had a concert going yeah, on, man. He said. he said they had a concert. He said, so make sure we're locked in, ready to go from the beginning because, you know, we're here to play basketball. We're not here to put extra. So uh, that, was, that was a great message from him for sure to the rest of the group because we were locked in. And it's tough because you get you get stiff, you know. You, you kind of lose your focus for a minute. But he did an awesome job of rallying us together. At the right time, right before we went out on the floor, and we 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 took off from there. Bradley, um, this is the first time crossing the border, coming in and dealing with the modified quarantine in Toronto. Did that change any of your preparation? Like, how did it compare to previous trips you made to the city? Oh, uh, you know what? It didn't because I don't do nothing anyway. I, I sit in my room on the road anyway, so it it was fine. And it was just like last year, so I mean, I'm just not allowed to leave my room uh, after quarantine. Wear my mask. Uh, don't share an elevator with people. Uh, don't let anybody in my room. So it's, it's the same thing we had last year and in the bubble. So it was cool. Hey, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we good. Chase. Oh, no. You know they got to go to Miami. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> Hey, hey, Brad, I, I know you're a big fan of Daniel Gafford in his game. So so what did you think when you saw that the Wizards extended him? Every time I see Gav, this is all I do. I just clap for him because I'm happy for him. Uh, I'm a firm believer in rewarding, rewarding guys who work their tails off and, and uh, who help contribute. You know, he he's a very special talent. Uh you know, to see the deal he's on now and then what he just got in his extension is, you know, that's life changing. You know, you could do you could be nothing but happy for him and his family, uh, you know, but he he it's a chip off his shoulder. Now he can go out and hoop, you know, and I think that's what I love the most about him. Uh, he's just going to constantly get better, get better. The game is slowing down for him. 
So I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he can he can focus on hoops. He don't have to worry about the contract. Uh, he got every single penny he deserved. So now we just got to continue to move forward, get better. And Trez, you talked about how you were looking forward to this season and maybe getting back to the player you've been previously in your career. What, what did it feel like out there tonight? Did you feel like you were back to the guy that you know you can be? Um, I mean, really, I was just doing all the little things, just playing my game um, and letting it come to me, man. Um, I tell people all the time, man, I'm blessed to be able to play this game, be able to call it my job, man. Um, and I don't take that for granted. Um, as far as my previous years, man, th those are in the past. It is what it is, man. But, you know, yeah, I'm, 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 you know, I'm at the point where I'm cool with the game and how it took place tonight, but it's only one game. You know, we got to get ready to go home, prepare and get ready for another team on Friday, go with our game plan and get ready to get another win. But at the end of the day, man, it's, I, I'm, I'm going to do my job to, to help you remember who I am. Simple as that, man. I don't, ain't no need for me to continue to keep talking, saying this over and over and over again, man. I, I do my work just like this man next to me, man, what was done on them four lines. You can talk to yourself all day long, man. You ain't, it ain't going to mean nothing until you get into them four lines. EA? Brad, since uh, Trez is tired of talking about himself, maybe you could a little bit. Just uh, what's uh, what's the what do you think he and Gaff provide together as a one-two punch in, at that five spot? Uh, I think versatility on both ends, and I think that's what helps us. Uh, they're both two bigs who, if we ask them to be up on pick and roll coverage, just to guard guards, they do it. If we ask them to be dropped back, they do it. Uh, so I just think they have a huge IQ and they're pretty much the quarterbacks out there. You know, they, they control our defense. Uh, they control a lot of the things that happen and coverage wise. So when they talk, we listen. And on the other end of the floor, they're so good athletically at, you know, meeting guys at the rim, finishing at the rim that it opens up, it opens our floor up for opportunities to drive, kick, find open shots, threes. Uh, but you can constantly see the growth between, you know, Gaff and, and Trez, you know, whether it's, DHL work, throwing the ball in the flows, you know, a little mini ISO off the block. Uh, they put in the work, you know, so we reward guys like that. And I'm a big fan of that. You always reward big, man. They work their asses off in the game. Uh, so you got to throw them a bone or two every now and then and, and keep them happy. But we got two dogs who we want to keep, keep going and keep feeding. Last question to Neil. Hey, Brad, you know, I've, Trez said, you know, it's just one out of 82, but this is the third time I think in your career that you guys have won an opener. Um, <laughs> Wizards, you know, gotten off to some slow start. The first dog? Yeah, I ain't been one to know in a long time. I ain't cut. I'm glad to get part of that, bro. Oh, man, I appreciate it. I ain't know that. Yeah. And we ain't one up here in a long time either. So. Oh, that's good. Well, it's like two one on in your book, anyway. Two two special things today. Uh, it's it's, it's definitely. Uh, Crazy that stat, Neil, but it definitely feels good to be on the other side of it. Uh, because now it's just momentum into the year. You know, it's a good feeling into the rest of the game. You know, we have Indiana Friday. They're a tough team, but we have good juice and good energy to go off of, you know, from this game. Uh, versus in the past, you know, you lose, you kind of get rattled, kind of assume the worst and try to figure out, okay, what's wrong? And it's probably nothing wrong. You kind of just, your mind wanders too much, you know? So now we're... We're in a position where, yeah, we know we won. We won the way we know we could defensively, but we still have a lot to get better at. And I think we have the right mindset coming into the night and after the game, uh, moving into product. And I know, you know, you're one of your harshest critics. I'm curious how those opportunities from three felt for you. You know, not your greatest shooting night. Did you feel like they were good looks and they just ha didn't happen to fall tonight? Hey, Neil, you've watched me play how many times, Neil? Hey, wow. man. Small game. We won. Hey, Neil, you watch me for every time. We won. My boy got a dub. That's all it's about. I told yeah, you, man. Shoot no bad shots. We don't care about the shots that you take, man. We're going to ride with him. We're going to roll with him. Simple as that, man. So I didn't think he had a bad night because at the end of the day, it ended with a dub. We'll see y'all in D.C., man. Appreciate oh, it, Trez. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Trez. Appreciate Trez. your time. Trez for president. Woo! I wish. <laughs>